Hello YouTube, uh, my name is Joe and the goal today is to rebuild this Victor oxygen regulator. Uh, show you what I have going on here. And recently I was working on a project using the torch. I don't use the torch a lot, uh, but using the torch to cut some steel. And I went for launch and I come back and Man, this regulator is acting funny, and it's all the way redlined. Usually, I, I keep my oxygen right around 25 psi, and it's 100 psi plus. So I took it apart. Uh, I saw nothing suspicious, uh, but uh, I bought a rebuild kit from. Amazon, I think it was like 22, 23, I think like 24 something with taxes. And so today we're going to use this rebuild kit, replace the parts that came with this um, and see if it works. So I'll show you what's going on uh, and then we will disassemble this and install these parts and let's see how long it actually takes. So before we actually take this apart, I'll uh, show you where I'm kind of starting. Uh, I don't have the hose hooked on there, but I, I'm pretty sure I could probably put my thumb over it and you'll be able to see what's happening. Uh, this regulator valve is all the way open. Right off the bat, you could just see that it just, it just red lines. Uh, there's zero regulation. In fact, I could, I could pull this guy right on out and you know, it's just way too much pressure. So we're going to just take this apart and let's go rebuild. I'm going to do my best at uh, making sure that you guys can kind of see what's going on here. Uh, I, I don't really have soft jaws for my vice. So I've got a couple of pairs of gloves. Uh, we pulled out this valve earlier. Uh, I pretty much want to get this mounted in the vise, but I'm going to have to pull off these regulators. And from what I can tell, um, they should come loose. I remember this is all like brass and brass, and so we want to make sure that we are not over tightening things. I'm sure things have like torque specs. Um, to be and, and to be honest with you guys, I did take this apart. I don't know, a month back when I did the initial work, uh, when I was working my metal working to see if uh, diaphragm was torn or something to that effect. So I've gotten this far before. Um, so now we want to kind of mount this in the vise here. So once we pull those gauges off, we're going to need to be able to unscrew the top from the bottom. Uh, probably should have some kind of soft jaws for this vise. Uh, I've tried using a pair of gloves. You can see those gloves over there. Uh, the problem with gloves is, yes, they're soft, but they seem to slip quite a bit. So well, I'm probably going to do this completely wrong. But we're going to just try to tighten this in here, keeping an eye on all those different pieces. Remembering that this is this is brass, so um, don't tighten too much. Let's see if that does the trick. There we go. Put you guys in a good spot here. Pull this off nice and slowly. What's we've going on? We got a uh, plastic gasket, so to speak. And that's looking pretty intact. 
set that over there. A spring with some kind of goop on there. That is what this guy sets on. A little diaphragm. Pull this apart. Like I said, I looked at this once before and that seemed all intact. Still looks pretty good. Could take that out. So now we gotta take this little plug out. Uh, and then there's like a pin in the middle of it. And I'm thinking that that is really the, the regulator, if you will. Uh, we're gonna use a socket. And that seems to be a pretty snug fit. Uh, that's 5 eighths. Oh, that was that's not too bad. We'll take this off nice and slow in case there's any kind of spring action. And everything's pretty clean in here, seeing how it was only oxygen running. So that piece fell out. I look underneath there, that looks pretty clean. Got that. You can see that that is. See if I can't focus. It's pretty pity looking. So maybe that's our issue. Not sure what what let loose there. Um. So that kind of comes apart there. So we got a spring, a little cap. Some kind of little washer there, so we need to make sure that that goes back in the right order. Then let me take it loose so we can see what's in here. In fact, there's another little plastic washer in there. It seems to be intact. Everything seems to be pretty clean. Now let's see what came in our kit. So this is the kit we got. Uh, looks like it came with a couple lens covers. Let's just put these washers in here. Uh, that looks like the one that was on the bottom of this piece. And then that bigger one looks like the one that's in the very bottom of that uh, regulator base over here looks like the one that's in there look to be about the same except you can see that that one's pretty pity so let's put this all back together and let's see if our 24 ish dollars was worth it That's the old, pretty curved up. That's the new one. I guess we'll just set it in there. Probably I'm supposed to have some special tools or something. There we go. This guy, that, we got a new one of these. That's supposed to go there. And this is the new one here. And so we'll push all that together. And there's definitely some friction here. 
I feel some friction. So we're going to put that down into that spot there. Going to assemble this, try to make sure that that pen there is coming in. And I, that spring there will compress a little bit. I'm just going to tighten this up and kind of bottom it out. Once again, remembering brass on brass, we're going to be very patient with that. Okay, we're just going backwards. I don't think there's any goop on that, so we're just going to lay that back in. Put that right on top of there. All right, so I guess we just put this guy down. Making sure I can see that spring and that plate underneath. This high precision channel lock here, right? I think that's good. So, uh, feeling pretty confident, uh, maybe Confidence isn't, re confidence isn't real, but uh, got all those new components that were with the kit installed. Uh, I'm going to put some tape around my rev, my gauges, uh, and get those installed, and then we'll take you out to the tanks and see if we're successful or not. All right, so hooked everything back up. Uh, this guy is still pretty loose. I did hook the hose up. To the torch i just thought that maybe that would uh uh i'd be able to more accurately see how everything is working um so right now i know that my my torch itself is there's no air coming through i do have the Oxygen on on the torch head itself. Uh, so let's start turning this in. Should start seeing that pressure climb soon. There we go. So like I said, I usually try to keep my pressure at about 25. Shut down the shut down the torch that bounced up a little bit. There we go. So that was rebuilding a regulator. I guess the part I bought was correct. I did come up with a couple of those little shields for the gauges. I'm gonna just put those in the box with all my other torch goodies. Uh, so how do you guys do it? Do you uh, loosen up this knob when you're done using it? Uh, take the pressure off that spring inside? Do you just leave it alone? <laughs> what do you do? Uh, the next question I have is, why did it break? Uh, I used it for a couple hours one morning, go for lunch, come back, and it's way off. Um, do you guys keep rebuild kits on hand? Uh, it seems a little ridiculous, but uh, that $24 kit really kept me from finishing my project because I debated whether I was gonna buy a new regulator or try to rebuild it. Um, do you keep parts like that on hand? Uh, but it worked, it worked. Uh, I thought it would be fun sharing this. Uh, I thought it'd be really great if it was successful. 
Uh, but I, quite honestly, I didn't know. I didn't know what to expect. So I'm feeling pretty good. Um, so like I said, do I release that pressure on that spring? Do I leave it alone? What do I do? Uh, so hey, thanks for joining me, guys. I uh, appreciate you spending time with me. Uh, if you made it this long, good for you. Uh, if you made it this long, I'm sorry that your <laughs> regulator also broke. I will put a link to the kit that I used in the description below. Uh, and so I hope that you also get to enjoy projects. And so have a great day. Bye now.